Hi everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial shall be the making of this beautiful reversible satin bonnet. And to make your reversible satin bonnet, you're going to be needing an elastic cord, tape measure, a pair of scissors, safety pin, chalk, clips or pin, a satin fabric, and a cutting fabric. So here I'll be using this uh, African print fabric. The first thing you want to do is to cut out a square shape of fabric like this and the size of the bonnet you want to make will determine the dimension of the square. So if you are making the smaller size, you are going to be cutting out 21 inches by 21 inches. If you are making the medium size, you are going to be cutting out 25 inches by 25 inches. And if you are making the largest size, you are going to be cutting out 30 inches by 30 inches so for this tutorial we're going to be making the medium one and we are cutting out 25 inches by 25 inches so now that you've cut out the square shape of fabric you're going to fold it into two and after that you're going to fold it again like this so now we have four folds So once you've done that, this point will be the center of the circle and from there you're going to be measuring 12 inches. So if you're making the smaller side, you will mark 10 inches. For the medium, 12 inches. For the largest, 14 or 15 inches. So here we're going to be marking 12 inches round. Then I will go ahead and cut this out. So after cutting it out, this is what you will have. You will have a big circle. And we're going to be cutting now the same thing on the satin fabric. So all you will need to do is to spread out the satin fabric and place the, the cutting fabric on it. And then you just trace it out. So now we have the circle cut out both on the cutting fabric and on the satin fabric. So the next thing you want to do is to place the two together right side facing each other. And we are going to be marking half an inch seam allowance around this circle. So we're going to be leaving a little opening which will be about 1.5 inch or 2 inches there. So we're going to sew from that end round to the other end leaving that 1.5 inch or 2 inches opening. So now I've done that and I've stitched it round leaving that 1.5 inch opening. So the next thing you want to do is to notch it round. So you take your scissors and notch it round like this. So once you've done that, from that little opening, you're going to turn it out to the right side. So once you've done that, you go ahead and iron it. So after ironing, the next thing we want to do is to create a casing for the elastic cord. And to do that, you will need to measure the width of the elastic cord that you're going to be using. So the width of the elastic that I'm using here is half an inch. And you are going to be adding 0.25 or one quarter inch to that, to that width. So which means here I will be marking out three quarter inch, which is 0.75. So I'll just mark it around like that. So if the elastic cord, if the width of the elastic cord that you are using is uh, three quarter inch for instance you're going to be cutting out you're going to be marking one inch round so the width of the elastic cord that you're, you're using you will need to add one quarter inch to it
So you mark it round and then you go to your sewing machine and sew it round. So you're going to be sewing it round. So I've done that here. I've, I stitch it round. And then we still have that little opening. So now we're going to be inserting the elastic cord. So the elastic cord that you're going to be cutting now, the, the circumfer edge circumference will determine the length of the elastic cord. So here I'm using 19 inches. So you will need to measure your edge circumference round. And whatever you measure, you will need to take out one inch from that measurement. So if your edge circumference is 21 inches, for instance, you're going to be uh, cutting out 20 inches long of elastic cord. So that is what I've done here. And once you've cut that elastic cord out, we're going to be needing our safety pin to insert it. So from that little opening, you will need to pass the uh, elastic cord. You will need to pass it around and you will need a, a pin or clip here because we want to secure the elastic cord at the other end. So just keep uh, inserting it. And then you're going to be needing the clip just to secure it like that. And then you continue inserting the elastic cord. So we need to pass it around through that casing. Alright, so I've passed it around and this is what we have. So the next thing you want to do is to take off the pin and then you secure the elastic cord with your hand. And you will need to place the two together, make sure the elastic cord overlap each other. And then you're going to stitch it, you stitch and back stitch three times on it just to secure it. Alright, so I've done that and this is what it looks like. And then you just release the elastic cord and then you distribute it around the bonnet. And then we still have that little opening. So that little opening, you're going to be folding it in. So you fold it in both on the fabric, on the cutting fabric and on the satin fabric. So like that. So this is what the wrong side will look like. And then you're going to top stitch on it. So you go to your sewing machine and top stitch on it. And this is how the inside looks like. Okay guys, so we've come to the end of this tutorial and I will show you how it looks on me. Oh, this is me rocking it. I really like it and I hope you like it too. Make yours and share this tutorial with your family and friends. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly subscribe. If you find it helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave your comment down in the comment section, and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!